Hi, in this video I will show you how to iterate a XML file. So here is my example of an XML file. I have got employees and inside the employees node I got employee. So each employee got name and age. So here that's the first one and this is the second one. So using Power Automate how to get the name and the age okay so for that the first step we need to do here is I'm going to add a compose okay first rename this so this is our XML file okay and for the second compose the first thing we need to do here is we need to use an expression so the expression we need to use here is uh, called xpath, two brackets. Then we convert the first, the previous output of that XML file to an X, XML um, data type. So we need to do here something like this. Then click on the dynamic, go to the output. Here it is. Okay. Then after the two brackets, then comma, then two single quotations slash slash employees there it is okay so let's run this and see what we are going to get here okay flow ran successfully and you can see that um, you can see the content type and the content which is um, encoded here yeah so how to iterate uh, you know the name and the age so we should be able to get David then 54 then mark 30 okay so for that what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add an apply to each loop okay and now I'm going to get the previous output compose here that is this yeah okay so that's that output then adding another compose again here okay and I'm going to rename that to uh, each XML node values okay and here I need to use another XPath expression here okay so for that I'm going to use again XPath Two brackets then again we need to convert the each item of that uh, value coming from the loop which we need to convert into an XML data again so that's again so each item is item so XML that's the data type we are going to convert that item okay then after the two brackets we need to put a comma then again it's the same thing we need to put two single quotation and then we need to say here string we need to use the string function here string then um, inside the string we need to say employee slash name click ok that oops place the cursor there and click ok that yep so I'll show you the expression again. That's the expression we're doing there. XPath of XML, that's the data type. We are converting the each item, comma, then string function we need to use. Without the string function, it won't work actually. So we need to use string bracket employee slash name. That's what this is, employee name. That's what we want, okay? So I could probably change this to um, name then. That's what we are going to get there. All right, okay. Next, add another compose again to get the age then. Okay, that's rename that to age. Copy the same expression. Expression, paste that, change this to age. And click OK that. So that's this one, age, age. 
so again that's the expression yeah so what I'll do is um, I'm going to put that under the add node so that's the expression we use there and here and now this is the expression we used here to get that so it's similar one so remember the first is the xpath then inside we are converting the each item to the xml data type then converting the string of that value whatever coming from the employee slash name you can use without the string that means then the value will be encoded so you need to use the string to convert it okay so let's try to run this and see what we should get we should be able to get two iterations because there are two values here one for David and one for Mark and then we should be able to get the get the name and the age separately okay let's have a look here it is so that's one of one oops it didn't get the data back yeah let me go and have a look what we did wrong here so we got here the first expression I need to check here is employees is it yeah I think that's right I'm just checking the spellings um, ah okay sorry I need to get employees slash employee I need it's my bad so here and note here it is see that so we need to get employees slash employee then inside uh, the loop we then that means that will return uh, you know the the, the employee uh, there are two sets of values here for the employee so that that should get the iterations going then okay now let's run this again and see yes see that David that's the first value then the age is 54 hopefully that's what it is okay and I'm going to click the next next is mark and 30 and mark and 30 so this is the way you know using power automate you can iterate the XML file I will put um, all these XPath expressions uh, under the video description thank you for watching